It's a week and a half until the end of the month when I'm out of my house. I'm gonna be gone for four days of that. So I've got about a week to get totally moved out of this house that I've been living in for three and a half years now. So I'm gonna slowly get started today. Luckily, I'm not gonna need to downsize very much. I've liked to have sort of minimal belongings for several years now because I used to move all the time. For a couple of years, I was moving every single semester to a different country and just had a suitcase. So I had very, very few things and I just never really got out of that habit. And then a couple of years ago, I already was starting to try to like downsize my stuff a little bit because I wanted to move again back to Europe. That didn't end up happening because of COVID, but I don't have that much stuff, luckily. So I just have this little closet, which is actually smaller than my closet on the bus and my dresser as far as clothes go. So I think I'm gonna start with my clothes and go from there. So I think my strategy is gonna be go through everything, get rid of whatever I don't think I need, and then make a small pile of like stuff that I wear all the time that I'm definitely gonna wanna wear in the next week and a half. And then all the other stuff, which I'm gonna kind of organize and move into the bus. I'm gonna do a little fashion show. One area where I am not a minimalist is with crewnecks. They're my favorite item of clothing. I have way too many of them and I don't think I will be getting rid of a single one. I lied. I did decide to get rid of one sweatshirt, but I'm keeping 17. I'm torn about this shirt. Cause it's really cute, but I haven't worn it in years. I used to wear it all the time when I had like a job that I had a dress fancy for. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I also have so many dresses that I used to wear all the time that I have no reason to wear. But like I just said in my last video, I'm just gonna start wearing dresses whenever I feel like it now. So I think I'm gonna try them all on and see which ones actually look cute. Why do I even have this? Never in my life have I gone to an event where this would be appropriate. <laughs> this is my senior year homecoming dress. I don't even know why I still have this. Also, I cut it up at some point. <laughs> Keeping it. Okay, remember how I said I, I prefer to have a bit of a minimal wardrobe? This is my conundrum and one area where I really fail at this. I have so many cowboy boots. And I have a hard time parting with them, even though I've not worn them regularly since high school. Like, these ones are sparkly. What am I ever going to do with these? <sighs> I gotta keep them, though. So I ended up with one big suitcase full of winter coats and clothes I'm not gonna wear anytime soon under the bed. Two whole trash bags of stuff to get rid of, so that was good. And these three sets, sets, sets of drawers. And that is pretty much all my clothes except the stuff that's in the laundry right now, which is stuff that I wear all the time, so I wanna keep it out anyway. So yeah, I don't think I should have any problem moving into my closet. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. 
I'm gonna try to start getting all the stuff off of my property. All of my stuff off of this property, which is not like just in my bedroom. I'm not at all worried about fitting all of my regular belongings in here. There's plenty of space in here for me and my stuff. I am worried about all the building materials that I need to fit in here. I have this collection of like plywood and stuff in the garage. I'm gonna have to try to make it all fit under the bed. Plus who knows what else I need to fit under there too. So that's what I'm working with. I think I should probably move the bus in here so that I don't have to walk all the way across the yard with every piece of plywood. Trying to decide if I have the skills to back this into the driveway. Probably gonna regret this, but I think I'm gonna try it. That wasn't so bad. As soon as I got like most of the way into the driveway and realized I was crooked and needed to straighten out, so many cars started coming, which is good that they came then and not when I was like in the middle of the road, but I go, I was so nervous. I couldn't keep my foot on the brake. <laughs> it's like shaking. <laughs> I had to put the parking brake on. That was much less of a disaster than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, what am I doing? to put my desk together really quickly since I have what I'm gonna use for my desktop is just the cutoff from my countertops so I already have it just to get it out of the way and to create a little bit more storage and organization here I decided to slap it together quickly so this is gonna be just a temporary solution I feel like I've been saying that about everything lately that that's just temporary so a lot of you say over and over get a level well a level doesn't work in here because the bus isn't level so instead I got this little digital angle measurer. So I'm just gonna match up the non-level angles here. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it doesn't really look that even to me, but whatever. Solid of structures, but good enough for now. Cause this is your last chance. You should know. You should know. All my stuff is out of the garage. 
Now I gotta get some stuff out of the backyard. Ow, gosh, it's hot. Unfortunately, since this stuff was put in the backyard, there's been a fence built around it. So I'm not gonna be able to get right up to it. Oh my gosh, the steering wheel's burning me. Just have to get as close as I can, which means second time in one day that I need to back a vehicle down my driveway. Yay me. Good at backing stuff in now. When you are ready, you will begin to go. This time tomorrow, the future I will show. Wasn't that smart to wait until the hottest day so far this whole year to do that. Also, I'm developing quite the goose egg right here when I accidentally threw a giant piece of metal at my own head. But I got it done, right? It's only 3.30, but I think I've done enough for today. On a whim yesterday, I put in this little closet rod. Like everything I've been doing lately in my hustle to get moved in here, this is not where or how it's going to be permanently, but I figured this would be easier and cheaper and closer to my final goal than just buying more of these white drawers and putting my hanging stuff in there. So I'm just gonna hang my stuff here. I think that'll be a lot nicer. I've been telling myself for years, once I just have money to throw away, I'm gonna buy all wooden hangers. First time I said that was years ago and I've yet to become that rich. I'm gonna really have to figure out like these shooting angles and if, once everything's all built up in the bus, it's really hard. It's fine, this shot is fine, right? One step closer, only like four days now, including today. Make sure it's sunk in. Today's the day. Not really sure why I made my bed since I'm gonna have to take it apart in a couple hours, but old time's sake, I guess. <laughs> Kinda sad. So I'm actually pretty much almost completely moved out. I just, the only thing left in here is like a little bit of clothes and decorations because I am sentimental and I wanted to 
have my room look like my room until I was leaving. As I've been sort of preparing for this move, I was wondering like, oh, I'm not getting emotional about this, which I usually do. Like, huh, I guess, guess it's not gonna happen. And then it really hit the other day. <laughs> so I've been nervous for today, but I think I'm excited. I think I'm more excited than I am nervous. This wall was the first thing I did when I moved here. Putting up pictures is usually the first thing I do when I move someplace new. Just to like keep myself busy before I have like a new routine to get into and also to make a place feel a little bit like home. But that means that I printed all these pictures out like a day after I moved here. So none of them are representative of my time here at all. Because I had yet to meet a single person here. <laughs> this is like, this house is really old and this is not drywall. It's, I don't even know what it is, like some kind of plywood like stuff and so it's really hard to get the nails in because whenever you whack it the whole thing just kind of moves. This took me hours and I don't even know how many times I hit myself, I hit my own thumb with the hammer. Like I was nervous every time I had to hit it by the end. <laughs> and I was, I was thinking like oh maybe I should keep all of these and try to see if I can work them in, if I can find enough wall space to work them in on the bus someday, but that really doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't have enough room in the bus right now for more clutter anyway. Uh, I guess these pictures are all coming back and the frames are going straight back to the thrift store where I got them. Except this one. My brother made this for me. <laughs> this is probably my favorite picture I ever took while I was living in Europe. so weird. Party doesn't feel like my room in here anymore. I kept this one, like I said, because my brother made me this frame. Isn't it pretty? And I also decided to keep this one because I actually like how this frame works with this little printout. And I've had this same printout in every apartment since. The first one I think I put it in was when I was 22. So that's six apartments, five cities, four countries, this thing has come with me. It seems especially appropriate now, don't you think? I decided at some point that whenever I was traveling, I would just get postcards if I ever wanted a souvenir because I didn't want to buy anything else because I am cheap, which also means that I always have like no luggage allowance. So I can't really like get anything big. So I'm collecting these postcards. These were my first two. I ever got when I studied abroad in Russia. Now it's really grown, it doesn't even fit on this wall anymore. That's everything. Ooh. Just one thing left to do in here. I thought it would be poetic for this to be the last thing I did. Now there's all this crap around the mattress. Not smart. I mean, this is definitely not what I normally like my bed to look like when it's made, but it'll have to do for now. Gee, damn! And I thought making this when I went to my on my trip for Easter was hard. It's gonna be a learning curve, learning how to do this right for sure. 
All right, I'm pretty much cleared out of the house now, so I think the only things I really need to do before I can hit the road are I need to stock up on some food. I don't have a working kitchen, of course, so I need to just get some stuff that I can eat without cooking, stock up for the next little bit, and arrange everything in here so that it doesn't all fall when I'm driving, and then I think I'm good to go. Obviously I had to come back in here and get my camera. <sighs> I will do my real goodbye now. None of my roommates are home, so I only have one goodbye. Hi, tiny dog. Say goodbye to your fans. <laughs> Bye, buddy. So I made it. Um, I don't remember if I ever actually said where I was gonna be going, but it's nothing too exciting. I'm just at my brother's house. It only took me a couple of hours to drive here and I'm gonna be here for a little while. I don't know how long because there's a couple of projects that need to be done before this place is going to be even comfortable-ish for me to live in and I do not feel comfortable doing them by myself so my brother's gonna help me with them. I don't know how long it'll take because he's a grown-up and has a job and a family so hopefully not too long but I'll take what I can get. I am just like on the street in front of his house. It's not like the most ideal like bus life spot or anything but it's not a bad view. I feel like the most prominent thing in that shot on the camera was that trailer right there. But you can see the whole valley and you can see the lake out there. And it's pretty nice. It's raining and it is cozy as heck. I'm glad I decided to come down here tonight. I was debating. I was kind of thinking about just taking my time loading up the bus today and then maybe just sleeping out on the street in front of my house that I just moved out of and then coming down here tomorrow. But I'm glad I didn't do that because basically I feel like I need to rip the band-aid off. <laughs> I don't know if this is silly, like, I don't know. It's not like I've never moved before. I've moved actually a lot. As an adult, at least, I never moved as a kid. But since I've been an adult, I've moved many times to many weird and faraway places and pretty much always by myself. So it's not like this is anything new for me, but the town I just left, I lived there for three and a half years, which is a really long time for me. And without going into too much detail, because I don't know how to put it into words, nor would I want to put it into words here if I could, but it was just a very significant three and a half years and it's kind of a big deal to leave and it's very much, it's definitely time for me to go, but it's bittersweet, you know? As much as I'm so happy to have finally gotten this project to the point where I could leave and as much as I'm relieved, it's also kind of sad. <laughs> So anyway, all of that to say that I'm glad I'm here because I think sitting in my bus in front of my house and just like being gone but not quite would be harder. <laughs> I think that's all for now. I've just been kind of puttering around, kind of trying to organize the space a little bit. There's not much that I can do with how much stuff I've got shoved in here right now, but I'm probably gonna keep doing that a little bit and catch you guys later. I'm all cozied up in here, ready for bed. I'm trying to be stealthy. I'll turn the lights up a little bit. I'm trying to be stealthy because I'm not... My brother has gotten ticketed for parking on the street overnight here before. It's unclear whether it's actually illegal or not to me. But um, just in case, I don't want to be here when they come around to ticket me because I don't want them to tell me I have to leave. I don't want to... I don't want to obviously be in here is what I mean. So I'm going to make this quick and turn the lights back off. Yeah, I don't even actually know why I... There's nothing left to say. I'm just cozy and ready for bed, and I think it's going to be a very pleasant night. Oh, I did want to say, for those of you who asked for these shirts in the t-shirt version or the gray version, or both, they are now all on my store, so you can get it in the long sleeve, the tank top, the t-shirt, all of them you can get either in white and gray. So, click on the link in the description if you want one. My old merch is also going to be, I'm going to take it down at the end of the day, the day this video is posted. So, if you want that, hurry and go get it. And... Yeah, I'm excited that I made it here, but I'm gonna turn my lights back down now. 
and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, well, that's a pretty good night. That little drawer thing fell over in the middle of the night, which was kind of scary, but I was like half asleep, so I wasn't that scared. Also, my sheets would really not stay on my bed. You can't see. My sheets were just pulling off the bed, which is not surprising. I'll have to probably move all this stuff out of here and put them on correctly today. It's a bit chilly, don't really want to get out of bed. But yeah, I guess it's official. I live in a bus now, and I think I'm gonna leave this video here. And that is the end. When you are ready, it will begin to glow.